morning and welcome back to the zombie apocalypse welcome back to tiki town and the treasure hunt well it's been a few days we had a very uneventful helicopter day where i pretty much just spent my time um again in this kind of area sitting in a, in a car reading a book um then i spent some time here as i said Doing some metal working. So this this fence that is going around the base, I think I destroyed it up to up to that point. And I also did some mechanics work on the various cars that are around here. So we are both metalworking and mechanics. Um on level four now. I still need to finish reading the mechanics book for the next level. Um I also watched the woodcraft tapes. So we are at woodcraft uh, at carpentry level four for whatever we might need it for later on um so that's all fine and good what i haven't done yet because of lack of materials isn't done any of the upgrades here so um now that's the wrong key that's also the wrong key v <laughs> yeah just just yell a little bit um so we can install Especially once we get to level 6, we can get a, a bull bar in, we can get one more level of metalworking window protection in, we can already do wind shield protection, and if we find chains, which I'm fairly certain we saw somewhere, but I couldn't find them anymore, um, we could get wheels protection in. So that's kind of what I uh, want to do, because once we get, once we have to drive, well, through the forest to the secret military base, but also through Louisville, we might dink into a few zombies here and there. So I definitely want to make that a priority to get this fully armored up and kitted out. Um, then one part of the metalworking trip was also to get metal bars and metal pipes for radio antennas. We have four radio antennas for the four um, repeater stations built and ready to go. I still need to load them obviously in the other car since we're not taking this car, right? Um, and I've ditched a lot of supplies out. As you can see, like this, this ground here is a mess. So we are almost, uh, we're still almost full uh, despite all the stuff we still have in here. Kind of limiting myself to those four calibers, so shotgun shells, pistol, 9mm and 45, and then 5 of 6 for some assault rifle action. Um, so yeah, and, and other than that, most of the stuff here sorted out. Now I need to figure out, now we still have then in here two backpacks with stuff that we looted weapons-wise that I haven't sorted out, so I kind of still have to actually do that. Um, I don't think we're going to bring the water jug with us. Water is kind of easy enough to get at the moment. So we're probably going to leave that behind. Um, and also, we don't have a 7 capacity glove box in the in the uh, Mustang. We have a 3 capacity. So it's becoming a capacity problem. And yes, yes, if I wasn't disorganized, I wouldn't have that issue. <sighs> yeah. Um, but let me just um, bring you up to speed what my what my plan is here on the on the world map. Um, I really need to enable that mod that lets music play even when the game is paused. So initially, I thought we would be heading up next to Riverside, then make a tour around this way, and you know, hit up the hunting store here, find the I think there was an item at the ranger station from the treasure hunt we need to get then swing by the army surplus and then get into secret military base rosewood and all that stuff and come around here um but since we're already full hitting up more points where we get more items instead of spending items feels wrong so uh my change of plans is we're gonna drive through the through the middle of the map Back to my favorite crossroads in the game, the South Modal Crossroads. I'm gonna camp there for a little bit, take apart some cars, do a little bit more metal working, see if we can pimp out all right. Then we're gonna return to March Ridge, where we have to place one of the antennas here at the church. Um, 
First of all, we get rid of one, one of the antennas, which is going to be great. Second of all, uh, we might have to do a little bit of shooting because March Rage has a lot of zombies. Um, to defeat whatever that is. The careful plan, and not so careful plan, is just going to drive into town, drive straight down the road, and use this big open field, you know, to, I don't know, drive all the way down here, see what follows us, kill, 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 move in, drop the antenna, get out of town again. And then from there, we basically do the same route I just described, just backwards. So from, from Mudridge, get into Riverside, get the fire axe, deploy the second radio relay here at Riverside Medical, handle the prison. And then we'll have to see um, what our ammo and weapon situation is, if we can handle the, the military base, or if we hit the army surplus store first, come back for the military base, and then loop around to Riverside, come back to Tiki Town. I'm assuming at that point we have found the last card. We're still missing one card for the treasure hunt. And then, you know, West Point, yada, 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 rest of the map. Um, but one step at a time. So now, what I'm going to do now is um, sort out the car, head over here to, to Mordor, and, and do some metal working. I think a lot of this is, again, going to be off camera because it's just not going to be super interesting just driving down streets and uh, dismantling cars. But I'll, I'll make some um, some clips here and there to, to show you how the progress is going. Um, so yeah, and, and you know, it, I know, with a heavy heart, I'm leaving behind Tiki Town because I think there's so much more to explore, but this is not an exploration run, and before I started this run, like, my two choices were either we make a treasure hunt run, or we make a, a, a series completely in Tiki Town, and I think there's a lot um, to do there, and maybe that's uh, for a future series, but uh, if you haven't, and you're playing this game, definitely check out this map. One of my, my favorite maps here um, recently. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna, gonna do a little pause here, sort out the car situation, and I'll probably get back to you if anything unusual happens or once we are at the module crossroads. Right, uh, it took a little bit longer than expected, but we arrived back here. I think we spent the first night here, uh, in or near the crossroads, if I remember correctly. And yeah, so one of the reasons why I want to come here is all the car wrecks, um, since we're mostly now interested in getting metalworking materials, not so much metalworking skill ups. And I think I have a few propane tanks left, I didn't even check, I think we, we should have two propane tanks left. We can get some materials from this. Three even. Ah, one is, one is almost empty. Um, so I can probably dismantle like, uh, let's say, 15 cars or so for, for skill ups and materials and lose, use the remaining propane to then um, get, some, get some armor up on the car. And I almost didn't hit anything on the way back here. Um, so yeah, it's probably going to be a day or so that I'll spend here dismantling cars. Also, I kind of need to honestly read up on the mechanics book. What am I? I have the gym bottle equipped in my hands. That makes no sense whatsoever. Um, yeah, I need to read the mechanics book because if we want to attach stuff to the car, then we get some skill ups. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Read Mechanics 3, probably just standing out in the middle of a road and lighthousing the whole time. So don't get bored, eat something, sleep in the car, and spend a day or two uh, at the crossroads. And if anything exciting happens, or once we um, dismantle a little bit, I'll, I'll get you back in. Actually, just for those not familiar with the whole thing, uh, let's do one, one uh, showcase dismantling here. So you take your pain torches, you take your other mask. Uh, 
and you go to these car racks and you so say dismantle. Takes a second. I think we were just at the edge here, so we got like 50 XP out of this, so we're not gonna get oh, we're not gonna get the level up from that. And we got some shields, metal bars, metal pipes. Each rack takes a full propane torch. Each propane tank is eight refill. So with the six torches we have and the two and a quarter tens, we have like 24. 24 cars worth of, of gas with us. Yeah, biggest concern right now is that this is not going to be enough um, to get metal working up to five, so we're kind of limited on what we can actually attach to our car. Uh, now it's redded out, grayed out. Uh, but hey, I mean, it's also gonna empty this and make some room in the trailer as I'm using up the propane. Uh, yeah. So let me say refill. And bam, 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 bam. This on the ground and carry on doing this. So yeah, um, let me just do a quick pause and um, do what I said, read the book, dismantle more cars, and see if we can get at least then the windshield protections. I think those are need, needed metal working for. I'll, I'll get those on to it. Alright, I'll be back. Right, um, the cars have been dismantled, the books have been read, so I'm just now in the process, using that modification menu to install that windshield protection. Got the rear windshield already in place. That's kind of all we can do right now. The windows need... Mm, I'm working four, four or five. The wheels, I don't have a chain. I didn't really find it and I don't think we picked it up. So it's somewhere in some warehouse. Um, the regular bull bars actually require the bull bar item. Which we don't have. The lethal bull bar requires metalworking 6, and this, this also requires the items to be found. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Screws away, main torches away. By the way, I, I forgot to mention that. We found, um, at some point, I found the Tiki Town map. So that'll give us a full picture of the whole place for whenever we return to it. Roll on the ground. Uh, what else? I wanted to throw the other propane torches away. I need to have the vehicle tools on me. Oh, we actually made quite a bit of room by getting rid of all the propane. Um, well, the mask can go in here. Oh, we're wearing our, our laser tech helmet again. All right, everything's good. So, heading into March Ridge. What do we need to bring? What do we not need to bring? Because I'm not going to drive down there with the trailer. So I think we're going to drop the spare gas cans in here. Then in here. These are like packs, they have an antenna in it and a bunch of ammo and stuff. I think I'm just not gonna touch it. This is um, the pack with the treasure, the treasure weapons. I'm just gonna put that pack separately into the trunk. I think, if anything, we're gonna be using shotgun again in March Ridge. So 
So let's get all the shotgun ammo loaded up. Don't need a magazine, I just need the weapon. Yeah, I should probably probably collected more than one single shotgun in, in my travels here, but okay. Yeah, uh, we still need a little bit more aim for, for my taste, but we'll see. I, ideally, I don't need the shotgun at all. Um, so quick smoke. What else? We have 15 more room we can use in here. I definitely want to grab... Can I actually equip that suppressor on the shotgun? That would be weird. Not from here. And not from there. Okay. Um, so I kind of regret a little bit leaving the, the water jug behind because I'm not well prepared when it comes to water, it seems. Some sodas. Did I not bring any more water bottles? Do I have them like here? Any moves? Why are you not on more plushy slots? Who's watching my back if you're not doing it? Hmm. Okay, let me figure this out. Um, because water is kind of an important thing. I did see the two canteens in here, but uh, that looks like canteen just means empty canteen. Hmm. Okay, so we don't have any spare water and I have, what, a half full gym bottle left? Uh, there might be water in the entrance of March Ridge, in that little cabin there, or in the trailer. Let me... yeah. I'll verify that. We'll sleep through the night, and then head down there. So, uh, I'll be back. It is the next morning, and um, wonderful rainy weather as we're heading back to March Ridge. Which is just down here. Ah. This is kind of where I wanted to leave the the trailer. Ah. Now, why am I not having my axe equipped if I'm pressing the one key? Ah, because one is the shotgun right now. Hello, sir. But two more we just passed, right? Yeah, that girls. So there should be at least um, a bathroom in that trailer there. Not sure if the little little guard post had a water cooler. I'm trying to check that on the map, but you can't quite see it. All right. You're gonna stay back here. No, no more to put in here. Zombie friend. Oh, zombie five, zombie friends. Okay. It's kind of the um, 
welcome back party that I expected from Archridge. We're good old fill all here. Take a sip. I mean, we we just here for a brief visit, right? We're just gonna drop by the church, say hi to the locals, leave them a radio antenna here, and then we're off again. So tempting. Marchridge can have um, an exceptional amount of survivor houses, and you know how much I like a good old barricaded house, but I'm gonna resist. I'm not here for looting. Just here for that church there. I expected the fields down here to be a little less zombie infested. Hmm. All right. Now I did have, I do have the shotgun with me, but I kind of almost think we can do this without. I'm gonna see if we can just melee our way in there. Because I think we could also really need the shotgun ammo for the prison. We should start shotgunning here in March Ridge. We're gonna have the whole town coming after us. Small cards whatsoever. Not even like I'm not asking for number 14, I'm just looking for any cards right now. Surprised to not see anything. Very angry and had a metal bar as their only tool. Alright. Litter the landscape. Let's have a little chocolate cake. Looks like we got some, some audience from the church already here. I think wedding dress. cards. Alright, so here's the big question. Okay, let's clear that group here. All those guys in this area. And then we're gonna go back to the car. I'm gonna do a little bit unloading. I'm gonna get rid of the shotgun because clearly we're not using it. I'm gonna pack the antenna and have a look at the map where exactly we have to place it. 
Getting a little bit, a little bit tired here from the killing. Okay, two more. But you, you're the last two. Closing shop here. Last customer. I didn't check the weather report. I wonder if this is just a rain or if it's turning into a into a whole thunderstorm kind of situation here. Oh, you know what? The map fragment is obviously well, the, the maps are in the I'm the trader. Smart, smart. Um. Now, there is the extraction tracker, which tells me March Ridge Church, 80 meters northeast, northwest. So maybe once this tracker, we leave it open. Once it's within, I don't know, 10 meters, we just try to unpack the antenna and see if we can right click it or place it or whatever. And I'm hoping it will tell me once it's finished. So the deadline ticking down. A quick full rest here. Not liking that we're getting increasingly wet here. Normally, I'm not a fan of eating as soon as I hit package, but I don't want to be caught out here with a 12 encumbrance antenna and then suddenly going too hungry and losing carry capacity. Keep ourselves topped up. Repeater can be activated here, it says now. Alright, I mean... Okay. Um, I guess place... Trap radio antenna... Okay, how do I, how do I activate? Okay, let's grab that again. Maybe I don't need to place it with right click, but rather with this.
Let's play zero out of four. I need to need to double check here. Is there something else we need? Since this is just the antenna, is there a repeater item that I've been kind of ignoring so far? Um, repeater map. And antenna just had the defense antenna. Do I need to power these things? Do I need to bring a generator here and, and turn it on? That would make a lot of sense. Huh. Um okay. That will make things a little bit more complicated. Russell Baker, we already have for Russell Baker. So, I mean, at least it's it's already placed here. Um, let me kill those two zombies because I want to. Let me just do a quick quick cut and check on the mod description in the workshop. Operating in repeater mode. I'm, I'm assuming it's it's got to be power, but that means whenever we want to do the extraction, on that day, we kind of have to... Oh, God, this is going to be a logistical nightmare. All right, hang on. Let me, let me double check that it's actually the case. So after checking um, checking the map, so apparently the way it's supposed to work, right? As you do it exactly as I did, and then there should be a manage antenna button somewhere in the in this UI. Which obviously there isn't. Now it says something about the signal needs to be active, but I'm assuming since signal strength is here that it is active. Um, what I'm going to try is just get the repeater a little bit closer to the actual church, to the actual location that is on the map. What we have here, hand hatchet. I'll take an extra axe. Oh, actually, on, on second thought, I'll take a splitting axe instead. You can have the hand hatchet back. Yeah, I'm gonna be so happy when I'm rid of the baseball cards and I don't have to scroll for two minutes to get to the weapons in my inventory. Um, let's attach that to the back. Okay. So, it's not supposed to require electricity. That's that's the thing I was able to confirm. It's just not 100% clear to me what the mod developer says when he says the signal must be active. Ah, 
get that out. I mean, while we're here, right? There was that barricaded house. I'm, I'm so... I don't, I don't think I can be helped anymore at this point. Such a loot fiend, a loot goblin. Put two planks on your windows and I'm gonna be there with a, with a large backpack. I'm just gonna place it right here, in front of the church. Can't get any closer than that. Hmm. Is there anything we can do? I don't think I have the military walkie-talkie on me, do I? No. Ah, um, we'll find out. We'll find out, but I'm I'm actually kinda in the mood for a little extended March Rich adventure, yeah. Alright, my axe is almost broken, gotta find a new axe, right? What better place than a barricaded house that was I think like two or three houses down the road here? That shouldn't be too wild. Just, uh, yeah, probably not get distracted too much. Also, don't think I'm gonna loot any more of these um, personal carry, concealed carry purses that are on people. It's always just gonna be like five bullets and get another pistol. Doesn't seem worth my time. Right, that's a big group. Let's go on to splitting X mode here. Rest. Okay, yeah, it's just over there. Ooh, I'm seeing a gas propane gas grill there. Might also be worth picking up. Bit of a walk over to the car, but I think we have plenty of room in the backpack. We might just leave our current splitting axe and current fire axe behind. Teen is not 14. was a zombie sitting there. Alright. Quick check on the side. Ooh, nimble level up. How convenient. Oh, 
that's just making a ruckus here. Warhammer. Looks too heavy. But looks too interesting to ignore. Huh. Grab the beaters. where that window smash was. Was that one of the side windows here? No. Oh yeah, it was. In the backpack. Tactical coat with a hoodie. Um, yeah, back that out. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Um, it might be a little bit uh, too warm for the weather. So, we peek around the corner, there was the propane gas that I wanted to grab, and then we're going to head back to the car. <clears throat> A lot of zombies, they'll be out there in no time. Don't have enough room to pack it into the backpack. Stay away from the fence. That's the splitting axe gone. Gonna all the way down. Put that on our belts. That should free up enough room here. Yep, that I can grab the propane tank. I can skedaddle. Well, March Ridge, it's been fun. Right, I'm gonna do another quick uh, read around and try to figure out, because I, I would hate to have to return to this. But I'm gonna end the episode here, and I'll fill you in on what's up in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.